We are in Ultra Ball tier. Does Assault Vested Sogaleo have what it takes to pull us in the Master Ball? Stay tuned. What is... You already know what it is. Your self-proclaimed mediocre Pokemon Master here, Tiggly Man, coming at you with a Series 8 ranked VGC live. Today, we are going to be trying out Assault Vested Sogaleo. Now, um, Sogaleo has uh, pretty good stats. Pretty good stats. He's a very bulky Pokemon. His defenses aren't like insane, but that like, what was it? Base 137 HP. That's going to put in some damn work. Very, very bulky boy with a good, I think, 131 attack stat. Something like that. He hits pretty hard. So Solgaleo, let's break him down real quick. His ability is full metal body. So you can't lower his stats, which is absolutely incredible. We just got to watch out for Will-O-Wisp. Other than that, he can run the board. We got Sunsteel Strike, Earthquake, Close Combat, and Rock Slide. To complement our Sogoleo and his pretty damn good 97 speed tier, we got a uh, Wismicot here. Got a eject button on her just so um she gets faked out or something like that. We, we don't want her die in turn one. We can just, you know, swap her out. Whatever, that's great. We have Moonblast, Tailwind, Taunt, and Helping Hand to assist our Sogoleo and any other Pokemon we lead with. Next up, we have uh, one of my personal pride and joys. I apologize for seeing him so much, but he just kind of goes on every damn team. We have Galarian Maltres with Weakness Policy, Nasty Plot, Fiery Wrath, Hurricane Protect. It's just Dark Flying's fantastic. It's our cheap version of Yveltal. Next up, we have Tapu Fini. Now, she's going to bring the Misty Surge to help, you know, prevent status conditions on our Pokemon. Um, we have Moonblast, Money Water, Calm Mind, and Protect. This is a bulky Fini, max HP, max special attack. And um, hopefully my opponent will decide to ignore and I can Calm Mind once and we can let it rip. Followed up with that, we have Choice Banded Urshifu, which is probably the best wall breaker in the game, even in this Uber's meta. He's absolutely insane. With a pretty damn decent 97 speed tier, accompanied with Tailwind, he's going to put out some massive, massive ass damage. And last but not least, we have another guy to complement our Solgaleo. So our Solgaleo is Assault Vested, right? That's plus one Spideff. Makes him really bulky. We got a Cochin. Um, Galarian Zapdos. Now he has Sash, so his sole purpose isn't just to do coaching. It also gives us um, fighting and flying coverage, which together is just amazing. And then we have Protect in case my opponent is afraid of the Zapdos. We can burn their turns up. If you'd like to use this team, the rental code, as always, will be in the description down below. Without further ado, guys, I'll catch you in the first battle. Got our first match here. We're versing Dialga. Very interesting team on my opponents. And someone must be excited for Sinnoh remakes. Electivire, Mamoswine, Togekiss, Magmodar, Gastrodon, and Dialga. Very cool team, Max. Loving it. Okay. Now, Assault Vest and Solgaleo um, looks pretty good here. He really does. So, let's lead Solgaleo and our Zap. Um... Urshifu looks pretty good, but Tapu Fini might be looking a little bit better. Let's do Fini and Moltres. And let's call it a day. Let's see what we got. Really love to see the whole Sinnoh get up. And you don't see Electivire too, too often. With his ability, I believe he gets Motor Drive. So he gets hit by Electric type move. I'm not sure if it redirects the Electric type move, but whenever he's hit with one, it increases his speed. Not too shabby. Now here, I'm expecting um, like a Mamoswine Togekiss lead or something like that. We'll see. Because I think Mamoswine puts some big work against my team. He's super effective against Wismacot, Moltres, and Galarian Zapdos. Fortunately for us, but uh, fortunately for us, those are kind of the Pokemon we want him to attack. We want Sogaleo to get ignored. All right, let's see what my opponent decided to lead with. What you bringing? What you bringing, G? Okay, Dialga Togekiss. Okay, okay. I'm pretty cool with that. I am. All right. So I got a Steel Spike here, unfortunately. I am Dynamaxing right now. I'm going to Steel Spike into that Togekiss. And then we can just get off our free coaching into Solgaleo and see where that takes us. I hope this Togekiss isn't sashed. Even if it is Barbary Berry, I think this might still knock it out. We'll see. We'll see. Once we kill my opponent's redirection, we can then max quick the Dialga and uh, hopefully one-shot it. Unless he clicks max Steel Spike, which he should. 
But after this one max steel spike and coaching, our defense is patched. We're good. So the coaching from our Galarian Zapdos is going to put us at plus one attack, plus one defense, and then because of our salt vest, we'll be at plus one uh, special defense. So extremely, extremely bulky here. I really hope my opponent follows, does follow me, not um, Dazzling Gleam or something like that. I really want to make sure Zapdos stays alive this turn. It would be really nice to get off another coaching. Okay, they did not follow me or anything like that. Doesn't look like they have Barberry Berry. Please don't be sashed. It is not sashed. Okay, cool, cool. Looking good. Now I'm curious, Dialga, how much is your Max Quake going to do to my Solgaleo? It's coming. It's for sure coming. Max Quake. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Still, like, really solid damage. Holy shit. Luckily for us, we can get our uh, Max Quake off and it. Very well could uh, one shot the Alga. Yeah, Life Orb, of course. That did too much, even though we're salt vested. Electivire. Okay. I don't know if Electivire gets follow me or anything like that. But here, let's max Quake the Alga and again, coaching again. Getting our Solgaleo to become a big, big menace. After all, what a beautiful Pokemon. One of the best lion boys in the damn game. I really hope this Max Quake knocks out. Fingers crossed. Come on, baby. Smoke him. It's plus two. Ain't shit, though. Ain't shit. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. But, I mean, hey, we're bulkier now, so... We should be alright. Wild Charge, that's fine. That's fine. Got our sash to eat that shit up. Now, I don't even think we need to coach again. Yep, there we go. Barely any damage. Here. What do I want to do? Let's... Max Knuckle Electivire... And let's just Thunderous Kick this Dialga. I hope it does enough. I think it should. If it doesn't, we're going to be kind of in a bad spot. So Sogaleo is going to be at plus three attack, plus three defense, and plus two Spadef. Which is absolutely insane. <laughs> so he was probably expecting me to coach again, but someone's going to get smacked coming in. Gastro, okay. Wish I could have just nuked Gastro, but that's okay. We're going to start pressuring him, get those defense drops. Great damage, holy shit. Galarian Zapdos is such a good boy. And this should KO. Yeah. And I think this is probably game. Because now Zapdos... Uh, I can just Earthquake. <laughs> yeah yeah that's it holy shit what a beast all right yeah th this should be gg hold up unless one of them gets wide guard and they predict the earthquake i'll shit my pants but we'll see okay so i'm just gonna earthquake and then i guess just coaching again <laughs> just for a little bit of overkill action Now, I don't think my opponent was really like ready for this little duo, but what a what a brutal start to it all. I like how uh, Glorian Zapdos' nose just goes halfway into the whistle. That was so cool. Smoke him. Smoke him. Hey, 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 hey. Beautiful first one. Beautiful first one. It's been a while since I've gotten a 4 0. Enough said. Catch you guys in the next battle. Actually. Let's check this team out real quick, shall we? Just to see what people got going on in the ladder. Okay. Let's see what the Seto team was made of. Choice Bandit Electivire. Very neat. 175 attack. Yep, with that motor drive ability. Um, wild Charge Brick Break. Light Screen Earthquake. Interesting set. 
Mammo, what's the Mammo? Focus Sash with Snow Cloak. <laughs> Probably should have Thick Fat, but that's okay. Rock Slide, High Horsepower, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash. Okay, this person really like had it out for somebody. Lots of attacks. And then this is a uh, usual um, Togekiss with Weakness Policy. Was great in Series 1, but not so much anymore. And then the Gastro. Usual set, Expert Belt, very cool. Mixed um, defensive and offensive. Four attack Dialga, what was that? Oh yeah, Life Orb, duh. Uh, the Life Orb Dialga put in so much work. Look at that Magmodar special attack stat. That is pretty high. Protect three attacks with an Assault Vest. Very neat. Unfortunately, um, his bulk really ain't there. I don't think Assault Vest is the best item for that guy. But very, very cool team. Catch you guys in the next battle. We are up. Um, This team is menacing. It is not looking good for Solgaleo here. But hey... Galarian Maltris looks pretty damn good, wouldn't you say? So, hey, let's... What do we want to do? We want Maltris, right? Maltris uh, pretty much destroys everyone on his team. Should we just do Maltris Wiz? I think Maltris Wiz Makat leads pretty damn good. I think Tapu Fini looks really solid here, too. And who do we keep in the back? Kind of want to keep Urshifu. Because Choice Band Urshifu is a damn beast. Glorian Zapdos, do you put in much work? Glorian Zapdos puts in work too. I'm going to bring Urshifu though. It hurts me to not bring Solgaleo, but against the Volatile Spectriere, I mean, I guess the Spectriere isn't that big of a deal, but if it picks up one KO, it's going to snowball pretty fast. The one thing we have to be wary of is uh, Max Hailstorm coming from the Metagross into our Glorian Maltres. All right, who would my opponent lead here? I, I love the fact that they're bringing Stone Joiner. The only thing with Stone Joiner is his spadef is 20. Yes, literally 20. So any special attack will, for the most part, knock him out, even if it's, like, resisted. But his ability is really cool. It's power spot, and it gives your ally a 30% boost in power to any move they click. Um, I think he'd be more viable if he also got the boost. I don't even think it would be inherently broken if he did, just because of how lacking he is. But I wish it was that way, but it just ain't, and that's just how it goes. So Stone Joiner, you Volatile. This Yuvaltal is going to hit like a damn bus. Now, I do... I do have to discord that Storm jo Stone Jorner. Um, I'm assuming he sashed. So, I want to protect here. And I want to Moonblast the Stone Jorner. Right? I don't think he's going to nuke my Wismacot. Because I'm assuming Stone Jorner's sashed, so he has a, he can just max Airstream and then, you know, Stone Edge my uh, Glory Maltra spot and have that be that. So I'd like to think he's just going to double up into it and just hopefully here we can um, activate our Berserker. For the next turn we can Tailwind and uh, go crazy on him. Please don't prove me wrong. Please don't tell me I could have Dynamax Maltras. Okay, cool. Cool. See? You see what I mean? It's just a Wismacot. It's not even like a crazy offensive threat. That was neutral, and it did what it do. Okay, and then who did you attack? I would really like to see you attack um, Maltras. Oh, shit. <laughs> My first time using a jack button. God bless. Okay. Feeny? Urshifu. I think Feeny's safe here. I do. Now, I'm, I'm assuming Max Airstream in the Maltra slot. Yep, this should hit Maltras. Yep. And we eat it up like a champ. It just sucks that Stone Zorner now has uh, speed priority. Really wish I would have got a Tailwind off. 
But we alright. Do I Dynamax you? Who do I Dynamax? I could probably actually go right back out into Wismacott. And just Dynamax my Feeny. Right? Let's go out into Wiz. And then here, let's just Muddy Water. Assuming my opponent's going to try to nuke Moltres. I'd like to save Moltres for possibly a late game Dynamax. Lots of pivoting. I apologize for the slow momentum, but we're, we're going to try to bag this. Rock Slide, don't flinch me. Don't flinch my Feeny. That's good damage, actually. Oh, that was a crit. That's why. Don't crit flinch. That'll make me so sad. He did not like my Feeny. Okay. Okay, now we're in a better spot. So here. Are we in a better spot, though, actually? All right, let's pray. Moltres, I hope you can do it. Helping hand, Moltres. Max Airstream, Yuvaltal. Now here we're hoping for a weakness policy proc. We hope we survive, and we hope we can one-shot this Yuvaltal, get Urshifu in, and spam Sucker Punch and get speed advantage. This is a tall order to ask, but I mean, it is possible. Assuming uh, my Moltres doesn't go down this turn, which is, I think, likely. But we're, we're going to try. I shouldn't have put eject button on Wismacott. Silly me trying to try uh, different shit. Should have put switcheroo. I could have switcherooed it right onto Evaltal. Oh, no, I can't because dark type. Moltres, survive. For me, please. That was good damage against my Moltres. Do we survive this max airstream, though? Oh, uh, this is tough. Moltres, I'm going to have to ask you to eat this up, like, very well. Uh, yes, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I hate that, okay. So now all we can do is hope that Urshifu is capable of picking up Okos, and yeah, that didn't do shit. That didn't do a damn thing. Is there a salt vest of Yvaltal? Damn. So here, I Sucker Punch, Stone Jorner, and then I Max Airstream the Evaltal slot, and assuming he attempts to nuke Urshifu. Ah, uh, this is so unfortunate. Yep, yeah, bye, Urshi. If my Urshifu is Sash, this might be a bit different of a story, actually. Or actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Because this should knock him out. Okay, it didn't. Okay. I might... Oh, no, I can't because I didn't knock him out. He has speed priority. Damn it. If I knocked him out, I might have been able to just to Fiery Wrath the next turn because I was at plus three. Um, I guess I just, uh, max Airstream Cinderace. <laughs> like, Yvaltal really be that bulky. It really be that bulky, though. Damn, that's unfortunate. I'll catch you guys in the outro. Hey, let's check his team real quick. Yep, AV, of course. Of course, mixed defensive. Very, very neat set. He really outsped the shit out of our Moltres, though. I'd like to think that, um, you know, we might have outsped. I don't know.
but it doesn't matter at this point. Rotom Wash, Citrus Berry. Next attack, max special attack. Um, I loved Rotom Wash, especially actually defensive Rotom Wash, not specially defensive in Series 1, but he ain't what he used to be. But still very cool to see him back at it in action. Um, weakness Policy, Metagross. A speedy set, very cool. Then the usual Cinderace Life Orb. Yep, the usual set. Very nice. And Shadow Ball. Yep, yep, cool. Um, Spectre Air set for the Metagross. And then Wide Guard. Rock Slide Protect Earthquake. Let's see his attack stat. 194. Holy shit. Stone Jorah hits like a bus, but look at that Spadef. 40. <laughs> it, it, it's so bad, but yeah. For a Rock type, good speed tier. Good attack. Cool to see him in action. And yeah, that's it. Catch you guys in the outro. You made it to this point of the video. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, the team makes sense. It works. Unfortunately, um, Eject Button Wiz kind of uh, got us smashed by that Yavaltal Stone Jorner uh, combination. But, you know, hey, you live and you learn. That was a bit of an odd set. But it put in a lot of work and that Yavaltal didn't take shit for damage. Now, that max airstream from Glyar Maltras was plus three. And he ate it like a damn champ that that blows my mind because that that was what two and a half max airstreams my Maltris. that means one wouldn't have done shit but you live and you learn if you like the video be sure to like the video subscribe to my channel if you like this daily competitive pokemon battle content and as always guys i'll catch you in the next one later everybody